welcome today we will give the rear end of the bmw some much needed love i mean who doesn't like a nice day yeah so it has been I've, I've been holding this off for quite some time because i haven't had any time more or less to do the installation since previously we have actually done something to the front end and that is to install the diamond style grill which we have on the m340i i believe so this is an oem piece and i have a video of that installation if you want to have a look at it and also in the rear i have since previously also installed a ebay rear spoiler which really did enhance the rear end of the car i hope this comes through in the video i have a installation video of this as well but that is that today we will then be replacing the m sport diffuser I don't know if this comes through, it is grayish in color and we will be replacing it then with an eBay M Performance style diffuser which is in gloss black so it looks more or less like the M Performance diffuser which you would pay a thousand dollars for. I can't remember how much I paid for this one but I will link it down below so you can have a look for yourself. I got it from UK and it was not that expensive and i have an unboxing and we will see it today as well the fit and finish seems to be really good the fit we will see but the finish is really nice with regards to the color so it is a gloss black color that which go that will go nicely with the rear spoiler and the other gloss black parts on the car so that is what we will be doing today but before we get on with the video if you do like the content of the channel do remember to subscribe to support me give the video a thumbs up if you liked it hit that bell icon to stay notified when i upload new videos with the bmw at mx5 car detailing track days etc but without any further ado let's get on with the video So the first thing we will do is to lift the car up and put it on my home built wheel cribs. This is just to give us some more room while we're working on the rear end. As you saw, I have already shot the front wheels and also this is much safer working here on this surface compared to jack stands because the wheel cribs cannot tilt or anything like that. So that feels much safer. With the car safely on the wheel cribs, we can now clearly see from below that we have one screw here. Most likely all of these are self-tapping screws. So we have one here going into the diffuser. We have one here, one here, and one here. So four in total. And then we have a cover here, which are held in place with three more screws in case we need to remove this in order to give us some more room when we are trying to remove the clip stamp. And we will use the eBay diffuser as a reference to see where we have clips. As you saw previously, there are a bunch of clips on top here. And then I can see already from here now that we have some clips as well to unfasten. And then we can remove the diffuser and put the new one in place. I hope you can see this. So we have a tab here, which is then linked or belongs to the diffuser. We need to depress that one and then pull the diffuser in the direction of the rear end of the car. So moving backwards, this tab will then unseat and then we'll do that with the rest of the tab as well. And we'll see how we work our way with the tips we have on top. One more thing before we start removing the diffuser is to remove this little panel or door. And on that, you can see we have a grayish type of trim on it. That needs to be replaced with a gloss black one, which is included in the kit. And this one is just sitting with some simple tabs, which you press inwards on both sides and then you can release this and then replace it with the provided trim piece. Now all the tabs holding the diffuser from below are loose. Now we need to work our way around the whole diffuser and get all of the other tabs which we can see on the eBay one. And uh, those we'll have to see how we can access to remove them. We need to be very careful so we don't damage the bumper or the OEM diffuser.
Finally, the diffuser is off and as usual, it is a bitch to remove clips or tabs and whatnot. And you're always risking breaking something, but this was not the case this time. The bumper is still fresh. The diffuser is still fresh, no scratches or so. The next step is then to take the replacement one and put it in place and just give it a shove and we will most likely have it in place in no time. And I usually say that and it takes a lot of time, but that's the way it is. And also, as you can see, we have removed and replaced this trim bit with a gloss black one as well. And this part you can remove rather easily by just pressing this or just pulling it out. It will come out. And as you can see, I broke a nail. Oh, I broke my nail. Oh no, how am I gonna go to the party today? I don't know. I don't know. As you have seen, the diffuser comes with two parts or actually it's three parts if we consider that small trim piece as well. We have a larger one. I don't know if this is the diffuser or if this is the diffuser or both of them together. However, I will first start with the bigger one and punch that into place and then we will mount this center piece on here as well with just giving a, a good push and hopefully everything will sit properly. So that is what we'll be doing next. Before you start assembling the sides, there are two tabs at the end which you need to position first before you start wiggling the top portion in. Like so. And now I can push this into place. There you go. So for the centerpiece, as you saw, we have a splash guard or splash shield here. I will gently pull that downwards. And then we have these tabs, which we need to have under that. And like so. Uh, once we feel that everything seems to be in place, we'll give it a punch. And hopefully it will seat correctly. Like so. found it to be easier to pull down this splash guard, the splash shield, and put my fingers behind the diffuser and press from this side. And as you hear, it clicks into place. And it's sitting really tight, actually. There we go. Finally. Lastly, we'll put back the screws, which we removed in the first step. There you have it. It looks fantastic. I hope the video shows it. It really ties in really, really good with the black spoiler we have installed recently. The black wheels, the black trimmings around the windows, the black mirror caps, and also the blacked out grills, etc. And how do you like that ghetto mod? Because in Sweden, you can look up any registration number more or less and see who the owner is. That is why I have done this ghetto mod then. And usually I would then blur this out, but I want to save my time during the editing but enough of that the car looks really good in this sunset and the sunset orange i hope the video picks this up man it looks really nice i have to say and the diffuser did give the rear end a new really great dimension it is gloss black and it ties really well with the other black stuff as i showed you and also the fitment is really good however i have one complaint and that is this area i can't get this to seat 100 percent properly it is the same on the other side i have ocd so i need to mention that so maybe a regular or normal person would not see anything but i do see it but again then for the money paid and the installation process it is really recommended if you're considering getting this type of diffuser or the m performance one do it because it gives the rear end of the car a really really great look if you have any questions at all, just hit me up in the comment sections below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that bell icon to stay notified when I upload new videos and I will be seeing you on the next one.